I'm Huli. You're about to watch session two of our D&D campaign, Zedrun, The Fallen Lord's Plight. And I hope you have a great time and I hope you enjoy it. And uh, be sure to catch us uh, live every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central. And also be sure to check out the uh, backstory for Sig on my website, hulimcknight.com slash dnd slash chapter dash one or dash two or dash three. So, uh, that being said, here's the VOD. All right. Uh, do So we ended our last session. Uh, we had just traveled. Uh, we had left. Met then, and had pushed ahead past the small town. Um, after uh, Sig was able to procure five horses for you guys. You're welcome. And you marched out. Um. And uh, past the town a little bit further, and then, well, as soon as the uh, sunset came, you guys set up camp. Did you guys want to set up camp like right next to the road, or a little bit further in from the road, or so? Where you guys want to pick it up from there? So setting up camp. A um, little bit further from the road would be best, honestly. Yeah, close enough we could see the road, but not like right next to it. Okay, dope. Um, all right, so you guys can, uh, make your camps and all of that. Is there anything you want to, does anyone need to take care of anything? Uh, or do you guys want to set up watches? Or how do you guys want to get through the night? We should set up watches. I can take the first one, me and, uh, well, Buddy doesn't sleep, so he could just stay up with everybody. I can take the second watch. Uh, and I guess for everyone to get a I full I was night rest. Watch. Okay. So uh, either way, this will take second, and uh, Stephen will take third. Yeah. Uh, each night consists of three separate, uh, three separate chunks. Basically, three three-hour watches to get uh, everyone's full long rest. Uh, so. If that is the case, uh, did anyone want to take care of anything before uh, Jarek begins the first watch? No, I'm good. Nice witch doctor. <laughs> uh, Sig is taking first watch, but oh, Sig really is taking have first watch. Set up. All right. uh, but he's going to stay up doctor. and just watch. If something happens, he's going to alert everybody. <laughs> Jarek, go. does does Buddy sleep at all? <laughs> no, he doesn't sleep. Bless you, cat. Thank you. <laughs> that Sorry. was adorable. It was. That was a really I, cute sneeze. I muted sneeze. for the first Great. sneeze, and then I unmuted, and then I sneezed again. And like, I didn't mean to, but <laughs> clip it. Clip her sneeze. Clip that sneeze. I clipped it. <clears throat> no. It's too late. Can't be undone. It's on the internet. It's there forever. Um, All right, so here. Actually, let me get you guys bloop. All right. So a little forest, a uh, little bit into the forest here. Uh, we'll say uh, that uh, the road is... Um, oh, can I get a right. token for Buddy when you get a chance? Hmm. For now, Buddy's going to have a wolf token. Close enough. There's Buddy. Oh, should we get one for uh, Liana, too? You mean Lila? Uh, oh, sorry, Lila. He was close. Lila. Liana's better, though. I like that. Liana's like... Uh, full name. Liana Stark. God, that girl's such a fucking badass. I've never seen Game of Thrones. That's, Most I'm badass kid I've ever seen in my thrones. fucking life. I wonder if she wasn't uh, Stark. Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Um, Her name was Liana Stark. She was literally named after Liana Stark. I don't know who you're talking about, but it's not in the Liana show. Leon yeah, no, Liana Stark was... <laughs> sorry, I have to. This has... Liana Stark was the... Was Ned's sister. Who died? 
before the start of the yeah. show. And there's this little girl that was like their nephew or niece or whatever, cousin, distant cousin from this island. And yeah, she but... was named after her. Her name is Leona Stark. The little girl that was like super badass and was just like yelling like, I'm not going to let this. I mean, she's like 10 years old and she's like yelling at people like, I run my own country. She was like Frosta. Dead ass. That was, that was not a Stark. No, I, I'm. That girl. I know the girl you're talking about. She's not a Stark. I bet you $5. She take was, that she bet before you look it up. Oh, fuck. She was a Mormon. You're right. I take the bet. So... I said... <laughs> okay. Give me... Give me... Uh, don't she I already owe you 20 bucks and now you like fucking $25? Why am I like this? Because <laughs> you take bad bets. <laughs> Why am I the way that I am? <laughs> oh, shit. I like 25 bucks and a fucking boba tea. You don't like boba tea, though, do you? It's okay, but it's not my favorite. Got you. Oh, do do do. Hey, wrong. Holly, you're gonna like lose five dollars, and then I did. I don't like balls. <laughs> Jackson, how much health does Buddy have? Uh, duh. good question. Fifteen. And fifteen, and what's it say? C. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. But she was named after Leona Stark, right? Yeah, but she wasn't a Stark. Okay. I mean, valid. You're right. Clearly. I'm just freaking wrong. Here, let me see. She's a badass child. Surely, like, if I could have a kid and guarantee that it would come out like her, I might. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I wouldn't. Um. First to declare John King in the North. Basically calling Maybe all the old the dudes their cowards. Uh, John does not have an H in it, so fact check yourself, Ryan. But otherwise, good job. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm being aggressive Pat, towards you because I lost towards uh, what's Jackie. Uh, what's, uh, so what's it going to be? Are you going to change the name of the thing or is it still going to be? Uh... We're going to go with Lila because Lila. I made it up on the spot and I'm sticking to my guns. How do you spell it? L-I-L-A. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if it's a Y or not, I and would think what's it would uh, the stats? Huh? Like health and a health and AC. I'm gonna be honest. She's a familiar. I she forgot mean, about her. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I never made her. <laughs> I do that wrong. Is, is, is she just a familiar, or is she like an actual cat? This is my favorite D and D session we've had so far. This is so chaotic. Hey, tactics. I left it up to you to decide. If you don't want to use it this time, then fine. You don't get one this round <gasps> until you make one. Doggo! You don't get a cat. Talking. I want it! Jackie, bring... Dog. Bring Doggo home with you. You've a trap! <laughs> She's baby. She's gorgeous. I, I love her. I had a cat, but he doesn't like me and he left. Aww. Just kidding. He fucking loves me. Alright. So, are we ready? Yes. Yep. Alright, so, Sig is on first watch. Buddy is staying up with her. Uh, the rest of my everyone going else to sleep? Yep. Alright, so uh, for the first watch, Holly, give me a perception check. Two, four. On it. Six. I'm pretty sure I've eaten McDonald's every single session we've had. <laughs> That's disgusting. It's cheap, and I hate myself. I hate you. 22. Okay. No, that's Buddy's not- health is 22. Oh, I was like, that's not oh, my Buddy's perception health is check. 22? I was 22. It. His AC is still 15, but his health is 22. I have to keep track of this. Here, if you want to use the token for him on there, the same as Jarek on Vol 20. All right, yeah. I said, I'll, I'll it, I said his health and everything. So what you get, Holly? I rolled a two, and I have a plus one. So a three? 
Yeah. Sorry, Buddy. three. Three. All right. I don't want to get shot by a Nazi. <sighs> All right, so uh, Sig tries, she, she tries to keep watch, but easily distracted. Um, uh, is there uh... She's just zoning out, lost in her own mind, thinking about her thoughts. Yes, thinking about her travels, thinking, like, we're just reflecting on it. Her past. Uh, getting, getting, gets Deep sometimes... past. She huh. thinks she she thinks she catches something, but it always just catches a tree, a leaf falling by, or a slight little breeze. But it just it doesn't see anything throughout her shift. All right. So how's she gonna spend the three hours? What do you mean? So watching and all of that, she's deep in thought or whatnot. Is she like just gonna sit there thinking the whole time? Yeah. All right. So uh, uh, first watch passes. Know- uh, Buddy cannot be surprised if that comes up. Okay. That's that's it. How, in what sense? It's like a, a savior it's, for my suckage. He is vigilant. It, it's one of his abilities. Is He cannot be surprised, so there can't... He cannot become know. delayed! All it says is he cannot be surprised. It's a <laughs> fuck you DM rule. <laughs> fuck you DM. I love you. Please don't <laughs> kill me. They Steven said it first. I feel like a rowdy child in a classroom. I'm so sorry. You can't be surprised, whatever that means. I'll leave that up to you. Uh, What's what's its its passive perception? Passive perception? Wisdom's plus zero. Fourteen. Fourteen. I changed my mind. Sig is writing in a notebook. All right. So yeah, in that case, with the three, she starts writing in her notebook to try and just uh, uh, to try and keep herself awake, but ends up getting so engrossed, she just is like focused on the page, completely ignores everything else above the notebook. I hate you, Sig. All right, but uh, her shift does uh, pass uneventfully. Um, so uh, who was the next? Uh, you know, go ahead and have Sig wake up the next shift, and you can go on. Yo, that me? Jarek. Alright, so mm-hmm. Jarek. Oh, is 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 time for... Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah it's... Oh, I got it. I can sit with you for five minutes or something if you want before I go to sleep. I'm not quite tired yet. Uh, it's up to you. I'm just gonna look around, keep an eye out, maybe stoke the fire a bit. Yeah. Wait, do we have a fire? Oh, wait, yeah, do we have I'll a fire? Make, make a fire real quick. <laughs> <laughs> let's you guys let's say you guys made a little campfire and all of that like it, this is in a camp you guys set up camp for the night yeah, and I'd stuff like that fun to just sit but, and chat for a little bit there's something i for my shield so i'll do that while i'm waiting okay dope. all right so sig goes to sleep then uh jarek uh jackson give me a perception check perception there she is uh 16 Okay. Uh, so you keep a you keep a good eye watch. Uh, but again, uh, the night passes fairly calmly. Uh, while while I'm up, I'm gonna infuse my shield with the uh, uh plus one block. You can do that. I can do that. Yeah, he can do that. <laughs> There's so much shit that I don't even know that I can do. It's like Holly or yeah, what does Sig do to pass her time? She just writes in a journal. I'm like I don't fucking know what I can do. It, Basically, I mean, you could have talked to your temples on my sh- my new shield. You so... could have tried to contact your patron if you wanted to, but I don't think I could have. Based on what you told me, I need to contact my patron. I don't think I have a way to do that yet, right? Oh fuck! I. Uh, I'll work that out work, later. You can work that out later. God damn it. Um. But all right, uh, but uh, Jarek uh, is fairly vigilant through the night as he's working on his infusion, keeping a good eye. Uh, the sky clears with the moonlight. You can see throughout the field and a calm shift. All right. So if uh, you said you did the infusion on your shield, you can go ahead and have that. Yeah. Uh, Gave it a plus one, and I've already marked it on everything. 
Awesome. And then, yeah, if you want to go ahead and uh, wake up the last shift. Yeah, go ahead and wake up uh, Valus. Hey, Valus, it's uh, your shift. Oh, Buddy will keep you company, but I'm tired. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that. See anything interesting? Uh, not really. Honestly, I was working on my shield half the night, but... I kept an eye out. Seems kind of quiet. Oh, well, that'll be useful for any battles to come. All right, well, thanks. I'll start the shift. Alrighty. All right, and uh, Steven, give me a perception check. Nineteen. All right. So, yes. Valis, uh... Uh, as astute as ever, stands watch with the village uh, vigilance that only a paladin can. Um, and um, uh, do do do. Oh, Holly's going away. Okay, I guess we'll uh we'll hang tight. Uh, because as uh, as the morning sun starts to uh, starts to lighten uh, the sky, um, you uh, start to hear some rustling in uh, from the tree line, and slowly you see shadows starting to emerge from the tall grass. And by the time you get a clear image. Uh, let's see, da -da -ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba, ba -da ba 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 and dink. Uh, you see a small group of rock badgers starting to approach the camp. Okay, I uh, immediately wake everyone up. Right. I guess I just yell. Um, or wait, no, I don't know if I want to yell and attract more attention. Yeah, you you can tell with that nineteen, they do have. Uh, as you can see, they are starting. Looks like they are starting to encircle part uh, part of the camp, and they are set. You can see that they are set on heading you all's direction. Um. So we can't uh, communicate with these things, right? Whoever knows about these guys. Huh? Uh oh shit. Rock badgers? No. Dang. There's they're in this you know they are very that's what the warning uh, on the flyer was. They are very territorial and they Man. will attack anything that they think they can beat. And they have you guys evenly numbered. And they are coming for you. I mean, can you talk to badgers? Uh, they're small woodland creatures. I mean, no, that's a good point. Well, if they're territorial, maybe we can back away, or we can just try and fight them here. You ain't never met a territorial animal, have you? Uh, well, met a few, but what are you thinking? You can't just back away and hope for the best. They're feral, yeah. my dude. They're just gonna keep chasing us till we take care of them. Might well, as well exactly. take care of it. That's the case. Better to get the first strike in. All right. Well, if y'all, uh, so you, if you wake everyone up, uh, you with the nineteen, you all able to see it. Let's all roll initiative. Okay. It's five o'clock somewhere. Wow. Not the twenty initiative. Ten. Uh. Ooh. But he gets a plus one to initiative. And you got a two. <laughs> God damn it.
Uh, also, good, that works. <laughs> I didn't know if the thing I could do works. I think it only went to JD, but he's on the tracker. Yep. Um, see, cat that was fifteen. Holly, uh, heads up! You guys are surrounded by rock badgers and roll initiative. Fuck. Sorry, I hate my life. <laughs> I rolled a four. Oh wait, yep. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Plus two. So you get a six. <coughs> Sorry for Still better wrong. than Buddy. Mm. I think I actually. Uh, still Defender. Okay, Still Defender is actually. Well, still, still Defender will just do. Dex it plus rolls one, on it. I thought it did. Uh, I thought it did just with your turn. Uh, Up to you. He can go on my turn if you wanted to do it that way. Uh, yeah, we'll just have him share your initiative. All right, cool. Um, Steven, what'd you get? 19. Ah, right. And... I need to write down Buddy's actual stats on ah, paper, 20. because there's no way to keep track of this easily. All right, and then let me see if I can... How do I... Oh, wait, there it is. Why am I... Um, and what, I have six. Uh, did that, god damn it. That was a seventeen, a nine, fourteen, and what was that? No, damn it. And a one, nice. There it goes. Uh, descending. Cool. So, it looks like Sita is up first. Huh. My turner has everyone, or doesn't have anyone but um, Maeve. Yeah, I only see Yeah, Maeve. I only see Maeve. Uh, I also only see myself. Pretty uh, conceited there, Cat. Cat's the only one that's important. Cat, I love you so much. I love you too. And in my defense, I was everybody's favorite last time. So you're—I mean, you're my favorite, basically all the time. <laughs> oh my god, I'm y'all. If you guys want to hear anything really nice, just like talk to me because that's apparently all I have to say right now is nice shit. Like my brain is like going through all these different nice things that I want to say to everybody. What the fuck is wrong with me? This is disgusting. It's um, called um, friendship. I uh, Cat I has Cat and to... Jackie have vastly changed my perspective on friendship. Friendship, poggers. This year, uh, so I don't know how why you guys can't see it, but 
I don't know what to do with it. Just JD trust me when I say. That it's, yeah. So it's just. Jackie, what? you're first. So hold on. What are you guys looking at that I'm not seeing? If you could catch me up. Because I don't understand. If you turn order. roll 20 on the left where it says turn order, that's what we're looking at. It's the little clock button thing. Oh, the damages? The what if we I just like. Riley too. So we see the numbers, but we don't. Ju we just don't see the images. Well, we we're only the the ones that don't have images. Those are the rock badgers. But what is yeah, see right TV. now is Mave. Oh, uh, because roll twenty is being fucky. Yeah, pretty much it. I, I hit refresh because I'm funny. You're right. It's just being fucky. It's on them. Okay. So, I don't know. Well, I had to... I mean, what do you see, JD? Do you only see her? No, I have everyone listed in order, ready to go. It goes Jackie, Steven, Badger, Badger, Cat, Badger, Jackson, Badger, Holly, Badger, Badger. Mushroom, mushroom. <laughs> What's the phrase? Nobody badger, 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 nobody badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Ain't, ain't nobody fuck with her. What's the phrase? Someone help me out here. Uh, honey butter. Honey butter. Honey butter. Yeah. Honey butter. <laughs> honey butter. Oh honey, butter don't give a fuck. <laughs> honey butters. No, no, no. Honey butter on. don't give a fuck. Hun honey badger don't give a fuck. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Jackie, you up? All right, I'm off. It's pretty badass. Let's Look, see. It runs all over the place. Uh, oh, watch out, says that bird. Ew, it's got a snake. Oh, it's chasing a jackal. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the honey badgers are just crazy. The honey badger has been referred to by the Guinness Book of World Records as the most... I'm gonna dash. Animal kingdom. It really doesn't give a shit. Up to... If it's hungry, it's hungry. Ew, what's that in its this mouth? One. I'm just gonna dab oh, on him. Cobra? Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna dash and dab. Now, so, this. I'm gonna so dash over here. Honey badger Next to this care. dude. Honey badger don't give a shit. It just takes okay. what it wants. And... Ew, it just... Ew, and it eats snakes? Oh my god, watch it dig. I'm what gonna... Smack that ass. Well, so you did. You use the dash axe, and you can't attack. Okay. The dash. Yeah. It's off. You were fifty. You were fifty feet away. So to get there, you would need to use the dash. And so, if you use dash, you can't attack. If you I have, have a bonus action, you can. Unless yeah, you're... that was that's my bonus action. I have a. Um... Yeah. Or do you so have you're bonus dashing as a bonus. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, well, in that have... case, then go. Okay, so yeah. you're just gonna do a claw attack for yeah the hit. Yeah. All right. Um, and let me double check. All right. How many honey badgers are we being attacked by? Actually, wait. Can I change it to uh, an unarmed strike? Three, six. Yeah, you can. Yep. Okay. Yeah, roll damage. All right. So it is bludgeoning. Uh, so it is that uh, you go for a strike and uh, it you feel it hit solidly onto it, but uh, it doesn't really seem like it notices. Cool. That's it. All right. So next we have Valis. Steven, what you want to do? Um, well, I guess I can't actually reach one of them and attack. Hmm. Okay, how do you measure distance again? If you go to the ruler thing on the side menu. It's the fourth one down, the one that looks like a little power symbol. And then you can drag, you click and drag the arrow to see uh, how far you want to go. Ruler symbol. If you, oh, it's okay, underneath the it. magnifying glass. Yeah. Okay. Cool.
OK. Oh, how do I? All right. Oh, you have to click back to the pointer to click and drag. There you go. Shit. They're not really in 30 feet of me. Um, I have like an ability that has like a 30 foot radius. Um, I guess. So here, let me, uh, real quick. We can see this real easily. You said it was a 30 foot radius? Yeah. There's your 30 foot radius. Motherfucker. All right, I guess I just chill. Right, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll the draw their attention. Oh, so you're going to try and make uh, make some noise and like get a, get their attention? Oh, well, just by running out in the middle, <laughs> ah, closer to all, all of right. them. But, I mean, if, if I can intimidate, yeah, sure. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, you do I'll have, uh, if you do want to get closer to one of them or whatnot, you can still, uh, you can use your action to dash towards one of them. No, nah, I'll stay here, I think, all to right. be more reactive when they move. Um, if, uh, you can try to intimidate, but they are rock badgers. They're not going to really give a fuck. Yeah. I'm not going to try. It's All shit. Right. I watched it on stream, and that's why me and Kat were laughing. I think that's why Kat was laughing. Yep, that's why Kat that was laughing. That is absolutely why Kat was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> shit. It's honey badger don't give a shit. <laughs> they do not say fuck. It's PG-13. But, ah! Yeah, that was absolutely All right. why Kat started laughing is because I have stream pulled up in the bottom corner and I uh, I saw the honey badgers and I just started giggling like a maniac because I'm dumb. I love All that All right. So that was the end of your turn, right? Yeah. Okay, so it moves on to the first rock badger. And this one is going to move its 25 feet up to you. And it is going to... Uh, let's see. Mana ma. Mana ma. And. Hana. Oh! Oof! Okay. Let me see. Take 2d100 damage. Mm hmm. Um. So. That's that. All right. So this uh, this badger comes and it just charges at you. And as it comes up, right as it uh, right as it go uh, gets to you, it launches itself forward and sinks its teeth into just the meatiest part of your thigh and latches on for ten damage. That sounds awful. All right. And as it like, and as it pulls back, it just rips a, like a a pretty decent chunk out of your thigh. Sounds like a twenty. <laughs> yeah, it was. Ah, oh, all right. And with that, that one will end its turn. Uh, the next badger is going to be this one here. Let's see. Um, it can't quite make it to you, but it is going uh, it is going to then uh, move forward 30 and then use its dash to get around behind you um, as the other one is and like just kind of encircle you there and be growling at you. And it's going to end its turn there. And we're on to Cat. So, what's Maeve going to do? I am reading spells. Give me a second while I think. <laughs> okay. What are these guys made out of? Rock. <laughs> They're rock badgers. They're rock badgers. 
Well, yeah, but I, I mean, wasn't sure if they were like animals, yeah. like if they were like yeah. Clean, but if they were like, like actually, are animals, honey badgers made of honey? <laughs> They're not. <laughs> I just like. <laughs> All right, so here. Let... I thought I, I thought I described oh I thought dude. I described them better. I thought I described them better last session. You probably my did. Bad. You probably so what, did. What these what these you, badgers look a like? Week ago. They're turtle badgers. All right. So what it is is they look like they. It would be from their brow all the way down, basically the 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 size of their body on their backs and on that. Instead of like it looks from a distance like really coarse black fur but when you get up close to it it actually it it is actually like more uh it looks kind of like dry desert like you ever see the really dry mud that has cracks the way it moves and kind of stuff but it's solid rock kind of just plated kind of all over their back and everything so they are stone yeah, they they are stone on like they they're flesh underneath with stone encapsulating their entire basically anything that would be considered exterior if they're like on all fours so not on their stomach or like their face but on the crest of their head and backs and everything is all stone. Okay. All right. So right. Maeve oh is going to yes. cast <laughs> shatter. Shatter. Yes, and so what that is, is it is a sudden loud ringing noise, painfully intense, erupts, erupts from a point of your choice within range. The range is 60 feet. Um, mm -hmm. And so here, each creature get... in a 10-foot radius sphere centered on that point must make a constitution saving throw. All right, you said 10 foot? Yep. Um, so... Can Does you it have see to be that... 60 feet? Can I do it do closer? Do you see that? Uh, you can do it anywhere within that 60 feet. So you should be able to move that token you I just put down. You are part of this. Oh, nice. <laughs> so... Sorry. Um, okay, so I can do what? Uh, so you should be able to move that token with the okay. with the aura around it, and so you can place that anywhere within sixty feet of you. How do I? Here. Who do I want to get? I grabbed it. Yeah, but so you can do it anywhere in that circle. Okay. That's sixty feet from you. Who? Fuck! If I do that, it's gonna hit Valus. The risk you took is calculated, but man, are you bad at math? <laughs> um. Uh, I hope you're good at saving throws. Um. <laughs> Things you, have you other don't want to hear from your teammates. <laughs> What's up? Oh, you have other spells or like a bow? I, do. I <laughs> can aim it somewhere else. <laughs> But that I mean, would hit the most badgers, technically. Yeah, that would hit, that was what I was thinking, is that would hit the most badgers. Wait, no, I want... <laughs> He's going to bed. I'll take one for the team, but this is not the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, okay, this so I'm going to put place. it here, I guess. Um, All right, so you're going for that uh, one. Yeah, there. And so yeah. it's a con saving throw, right? Yes, yeah, so it is a constitution saving throw. Uh, Constitution, cool. Um, and what is the uh, DC? I don't know. How do I how do I figure that out? Um, oh, thirteen. It should be on thirteen. Uh, All right. Um, and uh, can you go ahead? Uh, what uh? What was the damage for that spell? 3d8 um, on failed, or half as much damage on a successful one. All but, right, go ahead and roll it for up. me. A creature made of stone, crystal, or metal has disadvantage on the saving throw. Okay, Thanks. I'll roll another one. Go ahead and roll the damage for me. 
Thanks for not targeting me. That would have been painful. <laughs> um, 3d8. Um, I can just do it over here, right? Yeah. There we go. All right. Okay. So 11. So it does say while you cast this spell using a spell, oh, when you cast this spell using a spell slot of third level or higher. Yeah. The what damage spell slot did you use by one d8? I don't know. It well, doesn't have like a spell level. It just it's a concentration well, no. spell. Well, that's the thing is that you have to pick what level. Like, so you go to your spell section on your D and D Beyond sheet, mm -hmm. and so it shows you how many spell slots of each level you have. Oh, so it's under and, my second level spells. Yeah, but so if you want, you can cast it at a higher level if you have higher level spell slots. What's your what? How many? Well, what? You know, let me just pull up your sheet in all honesty, instead of it's me only... trying to explain it. It only goes up to second level, I think. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it would. Um, spells. Yes, yeah, so you only have second level spells, so you could only cast it uh, as second level. Spell. Yeah. Well, that's so the maximum. So would that add another so that, one? No. So its no, base level is second level. level. Okay. Uh, and so you'll what you're doing so. You'd want to click the spell slot, so you've used one of your two level two spell slots. I did, and that. then you, and then so yeah, it just has the three d eight damage. Okay. And so that's eleven damage. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, that badger, like it, like you see it just recoil back, <laughs> um... but it's still grimacing at you. All right, and I'm going. Boom. All right, cool. And is that the end of your turn? I believe so, yes. All right, so next we have... Oh, no, bad, bad. Next we have... The next rock badger is going to be this one. Badger, 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 badger. And it sees some... Actually, you know what? Let's see. Just because I'm going to be... Okay. Um. So it is actually going to think want its own prey and it's going to run all the way up yeah it's just going to run straight up to Jari and growl Come get me um wait it crap um and then um. next is going to be the honey badger next to Sita and it, um, yeah, no. Bone doesn't like to be left alone. Thank you. Though. Um, and so this one is going to attack. Yeah. And for that, it is going. It's gonna swing its claws at you. At who me? Uh, no. Uh, that one, no. the one in front of Jarik used its dash. This one is the oh. one that's attacking uh, Sita, and it's going to try and claw at her, but is going to miss spectacularly. Oh, did it get a, did it get a nat one? Um, uh, yes, it did. So I will, uh, I will allow, uh, you to do if you want a t an attack of opportunity for it. All right, 
let's see. Just any damage? Uh, yeah, uh, you can, how, if any attack of opportunity you can take. Basically whatever weapon you have ready, but it has to be melee. Smack. Smack him. All right. Yes, I see you, Holly. Give me a second. I'm trying to manage the battle right now. That's fair. He's literally That's got fair. like six balls in the air. Holly, I love you so fucking much. <laughs> my best friend. I love you too, Kat. You're my best friend. I want to hug. Oh my yeah, god, see, why, come am visit so... me. why am I so come... sappy? God! Come visit me. I will. I will. Come visit me. I will. Uh... After I have a captive. Lip ring. I'll come visit you. Okay. You can share a room with All right, bit. so... Jackie, um, as uh, as your strike, as uh, Cena's strike hits again, it's kind of the same thing. It, you make a very solid hit. You feel it connect, but the even in its uh, disoriented state after losing its uh, balance and, and its attack, it still doesn't look like you did much to it. And then, so, that uh, wraps up that Badger's turn, and now we're on to Jarek. Me! Yes. Uh, this guy's right in my face, and I don't appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to see if they, like, fire. And I'm going to cast Produce Flame right in their face. Um, and... That is a four to. Hit. Is that a forty? Um, produce flame. Uh, you can so as an action. Make a range spell. So, so yeah, that's a four to hit. A four to hit. Yeah. Um. I don't. You uh, <laughs> you try and you try and toss this flame at it, but um. In its growling, it was it was just like staring you down, and it bar and it just gives a a twitch at you at the wrong time, and your hand kind of slips, and the fire <laughs> just sails over it. <laughs> Damn thing! See those teeth? They're scary. Uh, all um, right, and then I will. Uh, buddy doesn't like that this guy's close to me as well. He's gonna creep over here. Which advantage because I'm flanking. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he is going to rend him. It's the easiest way for me to do this. Do that. Uh, and... That's that's four, buddy, to hit. It's a uh, 24. Gotcha. And all right, go ahead and roll damage on that. And what type of damage is this? It is bludgeoning damage, I believe. Let me look that up. Uh, rend melee weapon. Force damage. It's force damage. Force damage. Gotcha. And okay. It's 1d8 plus 2. So, 5. Five. Gotcha. Okay. So, um... I got boba, by the way. Nice. My <laughs> boba's on its way. Here, actually, I'm going to take Maeve's aura off of there for her real quick. Wait, no, yeah. leave it. No, he don't... <laughs> that was I just for you for to help... <laughs> Well, we'll turn it back on for that one. There is no okay. aura there, and I'm getting confused. Okay. All right. So is that the end of uh, Buddy's turn, Jackson? Uh, yes, that is the end of the turn. All right. So then we have our badger here. Who... Badger, 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 badger. 
Badger, Badger, Badger. Yeah, it's going to come up and Valis. It's going to do. Um, so this one is also going to attempt to bite at you. Uh, but as it does, um, it saw how much the other one latched onto your thigh, so it goes for your, tries to go for your other thigh, but uh, its teeth can't find purchase, and it just kind of just uh, scratches off your armor. And then we... Do, 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 do. Um... With that, we are on to uh, Sig. Uh, and as far as the question goes, it should tell you on the spell, but let me look it up. Crap. Why is it working? There, all right. Um, uh, duh, duh, duh. All right, so yes. Uh, Sig, it is your turn. Sig, sick him! Holly? Yes, no, I'm, uh, Holly's here. Um, did you, oh, you answered, I see. Give me just a second. I did. To read your answer. Yes, Meteor, Meteor Storm would wipe the entire party. Okay, thank you, JD. That actually, that, it helps me get, thank you. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and hey, uh, so just, for future reference on that, and for uh, because this is probably something that a lot of uh, is uh, the type how spells are worked, what you need to do for a spell is uh, in the components section uh, on the spell list. There, didn't I say send... there'll be a, a V S or V means ver or v, v means verbal? Oh, no, yeah, V means verbal, oh, oh. means you have to say something. S means uh, uh, somatic, so you have to make something, and then no, somatic, M means uh, a move your hands. Som yeah, somatic is a hand thing, and then an M means you have to use a material along with it, like it consumes something. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a lot more questions later, but yeah. that's good to know. Thank you. Okay, cool. Uh, I did not know that. Um, I had seen that earlier and been like, "What the fuck?" Oh. Okay, thank you. Um, all yep. right, so Sig is going to kind of reach back like this and start to say something and then stop. And she stops herself. Okay. Well, she's not going to so cast she's not gonna... No, she's not So she's not going to do anything for her term. No, she is. She's just not going to cast a spell. She oh. starts to cast a spell. She's like, oh, wait. Uh, can and so instead she's gonna pull out her short bow. Okie so, doke. Am I fucking this up? I don't know how this works. I've never done combat no, before. No, you're doing pretty good. No, you're good. You're doing good. Uh, okay. if you uh, if you want to say it to where she was like starting to do something, but then switches to that if you want to make that motion cool. Uh, but so just the end up action that she is going to be taking then the is going bow. to be firing a short bow. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. I just thought it was, um, you know, neither. it was worth mentioning. She's about to start to, to, you know, cast a spell, but then, oh shit, just kidding. She doesn't. <laughs> I'm building a world, mm -hmm. JD. Just kidding. It adds flavor. Yeah, I'm adding flavor. Speaking um, of which, I need more eggnog. Yeah. <laughs> um. to... Wait. Ah. How do I 
do that though. <laughs> what? Uh, so roll for Andrew! attack. <laughs> roll for attack. Yes. Can you teach me how? Roll a d twenty. Okay. Teach me how to do. And then on uh, your D and D Beyond, it should have. Uh, uh, oh, here, real quick. Let me make sure. Attack. Did you... What are you attacking? Uh, yeah. It should be oh under yeah, action. I didn't even pick. Your short bow. I'm sorry. Yeah. Make sure you have it equipped. Well, here, I do have it me... equipped, right? Uh, can I? No, you don't. Well, how? Let Go to your equipment just... and equip it. <laughs> In how... wait, how? In D and D Beyond, go to your equipment, find your short bow. And then there should be a little checkbox next to it that says, like, equipped. Uh, if you refresh your D&D Beyond page, it's, I think I got you for it. So you should oh, be that under your that changes action. attack. Yeah. I get it. Otherwise, you're doing an unarmed attack. Which I, is... Okay, yeah, that... And you, also, and you also didn't put your leather armor on, so your AC is actually 13. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Um, okay, so... Uh, I pick a target first. Yes. So if you click and hold on which badger you want to shoot, it'll highlight it for me. How far away can I shoot? Um, short bow has a range of 20... No, as a 80 feet or 320 feet at disadvantage. So you want to go to this one. The one that... Uh, Maeve hit with Shatter. What? Which one? This one? Which? That, which wait, which one? No, that, that... You know what? Because I don't want to miss and hit my bro my buddy. Right? That's unlikely. Okay, well you then, would own, I'll go for this depending one. Depending on how mean he wants to be. Okay. <laughs> I'll go for this one. Okay, if you're going for that one. Can uh, you then... see my, my thingy? Yes, I can. Okay. Yeah. I can see your circle radiating out from it. I got you. Sorry. So, also learning tools. I'm learning so much right now. Christopher, what the fuck are you doing? Welcome to so combat. With your... My favorite part of D&D. &D. Okay. With your short oh, bow. Oh, sorry. It's okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Jackson. <laughs> with my short bow. So with your short bow is going to be, whenever you roll to attack anything, what, uh, however you attack it, is going to be a d20. And then depending on the weapon, it'll show you uh, how what to add on to it. With your short bow, you have a plus four to hit. So it would be a d20 plus four. Okay, so just roll my d20. Yes. Nineteen. Accidentally. Nineteen. Fuck me. I mean, fuck All you, right, so... not me. I'm fine. So you... Fuck that guy. Alright. So... 19, and then, so go ahead and roll damage. To do that, the short bow does 1d6 plus 2. Plus two. I dropped it. I dropped it at a 6. <laughs> Fine, I'll roll it. So, no, I it, I rolled it and it's a 4. 4? Yeah. Alright, so 4 plus 2, so that's going... That's uh, 6. <laughs> For context, that's 1d6 plus your dex modifier. Yeah. So that can fixed damage. change. Just keep up with it. It's what's pretty... the modifier? Dexterity. Uh, your dex score. Why? Depending on what because it is, it is it a looks, ranged have weapon plus something or minus. Because so... the ranged weapons are usually finesse weapons, which means their stat that they draw your power from is dexterity. So Where... that's the thing that affects that. Where do you see that written? At the very top, those five or so squares. There's strength, dex, con. Yeah, but where do you... How right do you know to connect dexterity to short bow? Range Just uses dexterity. Range weapons use dexterity. So that's yeah. one of those things where you'd have to, like, read and just know. Yeah. yeah. If, it'll if, say if you all read through the com how to do combat, it'll... Yeah. It says range says that. If melee weapons usually use strength, um, unless they're a finesse weapon, like uh, Maeve has that Cat is playing with a... A rapier, then those use dexterity. But okay. most, like, physical weapons use strength, most range weapons use dexterity, and then depending on your spell casting, uh, like your Eldritch Blast to hit is a plus five, because that uses your charisma. 
because warlocks use charisma as their ability in which they cast their spells with. Oh, me. I'm a warlock. Yes. Gotcha. <laughs> I use intelligence Sorry, that was a joke. Artificer. Um Okay, yeah. So, Thank you. So you said you had you got six damage on it? I rolled a four plus two, yeah, six. Yep. Alright. Um What was the twenty three for? That was just to see if I hit it or not, right? Yes. Yes. So whenever you're attacking, there are two things that you roll for when you attack. One is to is your actual the action of using the weapon. Mm -hmm. If for a range that's taking the shot for a spell, it's casting it. Uh, for a melee weapon, it's swinging it. And so how accurate you are, uh, you have to roll that versus what you're hitting has a armor class. And if you get above the armor class of the thing, you hit it. If you don't, you miss. And then after that, if you do hit, uh, then the damage applies of what you roll for your damage of it. Roll for attack, and then roll for damage. Sorry, someone knocked on my door. Come and knock on my okay. door. All right, uh, so, you, uh, so you do, you launch the arrow. Um, this badger is, uh, uh, it sails and it lands straight on, it hits it straight square in the back of it. Uh, and, but the arrow uh, tinks, you, you see the thing, like, come down from the hit of it uh, and kind of turn and glare at you. At me? Yes. Good. At Sig. Oh. <laughs> Where'd this oh. arrow come from? Alright. Okay. So is that the end of Sig's turn? I can do more? Uh, so yeah, each okay. I guess uh, each turn, each uh, round, you have a action you can do, a bonus action you can do, and movement you can use. Your action uh, that uh, was your attack. If oh. you have something that is a bonus action, it's like a quick thing uh, that it's like a half action that you can tack on to the end. Sometimes there's spells that only take a bonus action. Uh, if you need to do a reaction or something, you can do that. And then, finally, you have your movement. So, on top of your action, you can move your full speed in whichever direction you want to do. So, your speed is 30 feet. So, you have 30 feet to move if you want to. How do you do... Oh. Fuck. Can you erase that? I fucked up. What? I, I wrote a line on myself. I don't know how to... I yeah I don't know how to do this. How, how yeah how do you do that? So you see where uh, like on the on the left you ruler. see uh, the drop down menu. It's the one underneath the magnifying glass. Oh okay. If oh you click oh that, oh. Right. Then you can click and drag. Okay, and I'm that just tells me how far. Okay, and I can move how far? Uh, your speed Top of your sheet is your sheet speed. I think it's thirty-five. Wait, that's it's right. thirty. It's yeah, right next it's to your thirty. Speed. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so Walking. thirty. So I can go thirty feet. Yeah. Now I'm good. All right. Sprint the other way. <laughs> uh, well, what's my so... what's my shooting range? Could I shoot this guy over here at sixty feet if I wanted? Uh, if you yeah, look at your uh, boat, it should sell yeah. you. Yeah, on your range. equipment, uh, the range, range of it. I see. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I, sorry for all these is... questions. I, I've. Oh no, you good? Oh, yeah. Uh, the first number should be the normal range. The second number is your range at disadvantage. So you have to roll twice and take the lowest. Basically, it's harder to hit something farther away. Yeah. 
Three hundred twenty. Yeah, but three hundred twenty doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem like. No, no, it is. Yeah. Do you have a longbow? No. No, it, you roll it at disadvantage. So if you yeah. want to shoot you something that is more than eighty feet, three hundred twenty feet. But if you shoot anywhere over eighty feet, but under three hundred and twenty, oh. you have to roll at disadvantage because you. you can't accurately pinpoint yeah. it. Okay, I understand. I understand. I d thank you. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no further questions. Okay. Dope. So Sig ends her turn there. The last badger is then going to. Yeah. It's going to go over here and surround Sita there. And it's going to try and attack her. Um, all right, what was it? Yep. And all right, so this one comes, uh, it scurries around, and as as it's getting around back, uh, <laughs> it comes and just takes a swipe uh, at Sita's uh, oh, shit. ankles Sorry, there I I uh, for two damage. What was the thing, the armor hit thing? Hmm? Oh, oh it, roll, it rolled a, uh, what was it, a 21 to hit. <laughs> okay. So yeah, it comes and it slashes at it and it cuts her along the back of her legs in a fourth, uh, for two damage. Not my Achilles! All right, and with that, it ends its turn, and it is back at the top of the torn turn order. So, Sita, Jackie, I'm gonna smack this one again. Hopefully, it uh, gets its ass smacked. Uh, Shrek. Okay, and roll damage. I'm smacking the same one in front of me. <laughs> yeah, and uh, okay, again, you make a very solid hit that doesn't look like it really cares about. <laughs> you punched a rock. <laughs> look, I don't have any other bludgeoning. This is my only bludgeoning is an arm strike, and it's only three damage, regardless of what. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that, that's it. That's it. I'm just going to sit here and uh, look at my uh, slightly bruised knuckles from hitting a rock again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. In that case, uh, Steven, it is on to Valis. Um, that was at 30 feet. I am, but I, hit, I have another one that's in 10 feet that I'm going to use. So I'm going to use Necrotic Shroud. Um, so these right. jet black angel wings sprout from my back, and all creatures within 10 feet have to make a charisma saving throw, DC 13, or be frightened of me until the next turn. Uh, and then it lasts for one minute, or uh, and then every turn I can do an additional three points of damage to one target. Okay, uh, so you keep track of that. Let me take the saving throws here. Uh, um, and what was the DC? Uh, 13. 13. All right, they all fail. You said they that they, charisma. <laughs> they're badgers. <laughs> no, they don't. Um, so Apparently they are twenty charisma. It's strange. <laughs> Cute little. Buddy. So you said they are frightened of you. Yeah, until the end of my next turn. 
Oh, okay. oh, wait, 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 oh, oh, no, 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 sorry, no. That's that's only if they fail. Uh, if if they fail, then it's a whole minute. Sorry. All right, so I'll mark them with this as being frightened. Hey, scarred. Uh, so all them scared. So um, how and long? And did... what does frightened? Let me just real quick see if I can get. I think it's a disadvantage against uh, all rolls against the person they're scared of. Uh, I think. Condition. Fear and frightened are different things. Frightened. All right. Frightened creatures has disadvantage on ability checks and attacks, while the source of its fear is within line of sight, and creatures can't willingly move closer to the source of fear. All right. So, yeah, they're all frightened of you. Um, and so, was that, uh, was that, uh, your action or bonus action? Uh, regular action. Okay, uh, do you have any bonus actions or movement you want to use? Uh, it says two weapon fighting is a bonus action, but I don't have you that. You have two weapons equipped. No, so, so then no. You can't use that. Then yeah. no. So that's my turn. Okay. Um, Ow, my leg. So next we have this one, which uh, is frightened of you, but it is also flanking with you. So it uh, balances out the advantage-disadvantage. So it's just going to be a straight roll there. Uh, all right. Right, and... Okay. It is going to bite at you. And again, <laughs> it's going to sink its teeth and it's going to find just enough purchase underneath your armor again to bite at you for three more damage. Ouch. Okay. Um, I want to use a reaction uh, and cast Hellish Rebuke. Okay. Absolutely. Um, and Hellish Rebuke. This is just a tiefling thing. Uh, it's a uh, given by. It's the also Oathbreaker a spell. Class. Yeah, Oathbreaker. Ooh, yeah, Oathbreaker cast. Okay. So, do to do dexterity saving throw, or take 2d10. So go ahead and roll me the damage, and I will roll. Hmm? Oh, the dex, it does. And what was the DC on that one for you? Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. So it does take, it does fail, and all right. And I'm going to and... use uh, the ne necrotic shroud ability to add three points of damage to that uh, necrotic damage. I can do that once a turn. Once, um. Well, it says you can have one attacker spell. Does that not include reactions? Uh, let me double check on that. Um... Necrotic Shroud? Yeah. Um, necrotic Shroud. Uh, make a... Once on your turn, you can have one attack or spell deal three points extra necrotic damage. Um, uh, I'll give it to you. Well, you know, I'll... actually, it says your turn. Technically, this yeah. is my turn. So let's. But not... it's a uh, um. All right. It, it, it's it's. I think it's clear actually. So never mind. Okay. Yeah. If uh, in that case, then it is. Uh, then your hellish rebuke. Let me double check to see. So yes, uh, as uh, after it uh, after its teeth bites into you and it kind of pulls away, uh, you point your finger at it and flames erupt 
from underneath it, scorching it. Uh, it just crackles and burns from the underside and looks and it's just like <sighs> and uh, takes the damage. Yeah. All right. The next oh, one is your turn. Um, yeah. Um, apology. There we go. And boop. Okay. And so the next one is the one behind you. Um, again, same thing. It has its flanking going against the the disadvantage there for a normal roll. And blue. Uh huh. All right. That is going to be a slash attack for do do do. So this one, uh, it uh, Sig's arrow really pissed this one off whenever it clinked off of its backside and it's taking it all out on you, Steven. And so this one, it jumps onto your back after you attack, after you hellish rebuked its friend that's in front of you and just scores down the back of you as it drags its full weight against the back and scratches you for another 10 damage. Oh my. Uh, if anyone has a heal. So how much did... I'm at eight. How much did my Ro arrow do of damage? Uh, uh, like nine? Rolled. Six? Um, six? Um, yeah, I did the full six. Okay. We don't know of what? Nope. We Great. know what kind of damage, but really we're not supposed to know how much damage it did. If you want to, if you want to, it doesn't look that hurt. <laughs> Thank you. The one in front of uh, Valis looks on its last leg, but the one you hit, uh-uh. Good to know. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Continue. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. Um, so, yeah. Then, so that is that badger's turn. And it is on to Maeve. Cat. Jesus Christ. Okay. Is she okay? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I'm assuming you're talking about Jackie. Yeah. Um, I have and no I'm idea. I'm assuming she's looking at some like really good porn. It's not porn. <laughs> it's my Spotify rap. Um, you know I like Jakira, right? Yeah. I was in the top point zero zero one percent of her fans. I was her number one. <laughs> you were close to her number one. You don't know. <laughs> Whoa. I have a problem. You were number two. Anyways, I'm screaming because help. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Sorry, Judy. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I need to go to therapy. <laughs> no way. <I'll. laughs> okay, so back to what I was doing. Um, I'm going to be nice and cast Healing Word on, what's this fuck, Valis? Valis. <laughs> um, at a second level. I can okay. do that. It's 60 feet. Yeah. So it's going to be 2d4 plus, go away. Uh, I can just press this, right? There we go. Yep. There you go. No, nine healing, Valis. Steven? Thank you. And I think then Maeve is actually going to move... Fuck, I need to click the thing. Um, To about here. And that's going to be the end of my turn. Okie doke. Next, um, the one here, uh, 
My friend Ajarik is going to do 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 do. Uh, when he attacks, Buddy is going to use a deflect attack, so he's going to have disadvantage. Gotcha. Uh, Otter even, Jackson. Otter even? Yeah. Uh, even. Even. If he attacks Buddy, he doesn't get disadvantage. Cool. Uh, well, he attacks you. He, okay. uh, oh, <laughs> well, disadvantage, disadvantage doesn't really help. Uh, uh, so, that, and, well, it saved you from a crit. Uh, what, what was the, uh, number? Uh, you rolled an eight, a 19 and a 20. Uh, then I'm going to use a shield. I get a plus five to AC, so twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, so yeah. In that case, uh, right as <laughs> its claws are coming up and about to uh, just scratch you in the chest, you reaction your shield up, and it its claws glance off the magical barrier in front of you. Yay, Artificer! And, <laughs> yep, so that ends its turn. Next is the one that Sita's been punching. It is going to attack her. Mm. Alright, with advantage, because flanking. And it's going to try and jump up and snap at her face, but uh, sh just as it, just as it it's as it's about to latch on, uh, see the leans back and it just misses her and just lands back on its feet in front of her. That's the power of Shakira. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jarek, Jackson, you're up. You no, know, it didn't work last time, but I got a feeling Conjure Flame is going to work this time. Or Produce Flame. Or it won't. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. Um, you were still... You, you were just too focused on uh, your shield arm getting rattled. You were put off balance, and as you try and throw the flame <laughs> at it, you pull it, you pull it high, and it goes uh, singeing off into the, into the morning air. Damn it! Buddy, get this thing! You won't, you won't bite at it. <laughs> was was that you actually... There we go. He gonna bite at it? Was that you telling JD that you wanted Buddy to do an actual move? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Um, so... Which one of those... So... Wait, uh, he has advantage, so. Yes. Uh, so he 17 does. To hit. 17 to hit. Go ahead and roll me that damage. Uh, eight. And what type of damage is that? Force. Force again? All right. So as, as he bites. <laughs> as he bites down onto the back neck of this badger. He grabs it down, and just the force of its jaws just crunch its neck, and it falls uh, limp to the ground in front of you. Good boy. I pet him. <laughs> and so. He pets him on the, uh, on the, the polished part, I assume. Just <laughs> polished, yeah, and then, that's, like, that's why it's here. polished. I can't yeah, scratch exactly. because it's metal, but, like, pet. Just <laughs> boop, boop, boop. I love it. All right. Good. Um, so, I'm Sig, guessing that's the end. Sig looks over at that interaction and grins. Okay, continue. <laughs> Alright, so next we have one more of the one, uh, this one here is also going to advantage, disadvantage, cancels out, uh, flanking and all, but it's going to roll for you. When you say one more, uh, do you mean one more honey badger or one more move? Honey badger. 
Okay, thank you. Continue. Well, rock badger, not honey badger. So it is going to slash at you. Maybe uh, just for a thing, because I realized Buddy still has movement. He's going to run up to this guy. Okay, no. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, be... You still have you still have movement too. I'll if you want if it it finishes your turn if you want to move okay. Jarek as well. Do you want to say do me and Buddy go at the same time or does Buddy go after me? I'm thinking same time. We'll do familiars and stuff like that. Is basically they share a turn with you. Okay. I'm still not gonna move, but that's just future reference. Yeah. I'm I'm kind of playing fast and loose with the movement thing mainly because I just don't want to have to handle the different things. So it's just it's lumped in as a subsection of you guys's of you guys's turn. All right. Um. Okay. In that case, uh, what is it? Oh yeah, I need to roll damage. Shot. Um. So this one is going to slash it to Valis, and it's going to connect and jump uh, for uh, two more damage. Uh, the one in this one. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Not the one you can cause disadvantage on. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> plus, the, plus it already used its reaction to do that, so not this turn. But anyway. it's been its turn, so it gets its reaction back. It, it hasn't gone back to the turn order. You only have one reaction per turn. Is that not after you turn, you get your... Okay. Okay. If, if I'm grouping it as yours, then it resets at the top of your turn. And if you impose yeah, the reaction... Yeah, it used its reaction on... before the top of my turn. I thought it used... And I just and did my turn, so it's the it's top of the turn order. It's part of top all of, the of turn this order. Okay. Order. Okay. Yeah. I just uh, so it's, all, it's this this whole round. It gets one reaction from top to bottom. It used its reaction this round. Alrighty. Uh, so Valis, two damage. All right. I'm at fifteen. All right. And with that, it is up to Sig, Holly. Okay, so which one's that broski that looked like he was on his last limb? This guy? This one. This one? Oh, wait, hold on. How do I? There we go. That one. Yeah, hold down. All right. So Sig would like to aim at him. Okay. What's she going to be firing? The same thing. So, with the short bow again? She does not dare touch any magic. She is using her short bow. All right. Um, in that case, go ahead and roll the hit. Sig, I swear to God. Sig, you dumb bitch. She rolled a three. Uh, plus the four, that is the arrow. Uh, she launches the arrow at it, and it goes sailing right over the badger's head. I hate everything. And so does she. She's very clearly, um, she looks kind of pissed. She's quiet, though. Mm-hmm. All right, is that her turn? What else can she do? Uh, movement or bonus action. What's a bonus action for Sig? Um, for Sig, let's see. If you see. have one, it'll say. Yeah, where? there's not a lot of bonus actions. Like, if I don't know work, where to scroll, look. Yeah, scroll down your action. Ac It'll, it has where? a section called bonus action. Where do I look in the action? I I really, like, y'all, I'm like... D&D &D Beyond. Noob Zero. Yeah, D&D &D Beyond. There's oh, a under section actions, called actions, that's this section. Gotcha. Yeah. The, the action actions section. If you scroll down, there's a bonus the action section in there. So right now, she can cast Misty Step, or she can use two-weapon fighting... <laughs> If she was using two weapons, but since she's using a short bow, she can't use that. So if you want, you can cast Misty Step as a bonus action. She's not touching but... any magic. Okay. Would you? You're a warlock. I'm going to DM you one. for a second. Hold on. <laughs> Let me DM you because I, I think... several times. I feel like you're missing some context, reason, JD. Like... Hold on. 
Hold on. I'm all about magic. <laughs> One well, second. shape shifting count? No, because she's born like that. JD, read that DM. <laughs> and let me know if I'm just like, am I just being stupid? Or is that Why kind of smart? Why are you imposing that? <laughs> it, it's part of the story! It's, it's the truth. It's the truth. Hold on. Okay. That's what I I'm mean... saying. That like that's like it's it's like seriously, please, uh, please sig, sig, please. But <laughs> but like that's the truth. I'm not gonna pretend like that didn't happen. <laughs> it's dumb as shit. It sucks. She will fix it. I promise. She will fix it like this session or the next. <laughs> but that's the truth. How bad is that? It's the truth. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Did I just fuck my D&D character into a corner with my stupid fucking backstory? I mean, you uh, do you. Story trumps all rules. There. <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> This... Okay, 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 we'll, we'll deal with that later. We'll deal with that later. It's good you're not using magic then. I will give you that. Thank you, okay. But then, in that case... <laughs> like... I, now I want... Now I'm just imagining, um... like, a wild magic scenario, and I'm kind of excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in so much trouble. I'm just waiting yeah. for you. Uh, do you want Do you want to lecture me off off stream or just? <laughs> you can lecture me on stream as soon as. <laughs> Shoot this. <clears throat> Sig just wants to be level zero. Mm. Okay, good to know. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. I. That's good to know. That's important. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was freaking out over Shakira. What did you do to fuck up so badly that JD looks so mad? Fair. Shakira. <laughs> I unplugged my headset by accident when I turned that way. Rip. What what did you do to piss JD off so much? <laughs> I like I was looking at Shakira. <laughs> I told him something know, really bad. La <laughs> uh, I'm laughing. And JD has that face. What what did you do with your bag? <laughs> 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 oh, hey. Holly. You know what a honest, warlock I zone the is. fuck out. She's and not I don't afraid. Know what's going on. She's... <laughs> she made a warlock afraid of magic. No, I didn't. That's no, that's Jackson's interpretation so of it. What did she do? What did it's you do? So much worse than that. <laughs> what did you do? Did I oh. have to breathe? Stop. Please tell me what Ollie did. I can't. Oh. I can't tell you yet. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. I just want to take this oh. second and do a quick self plug. If you haven't started reading my backstory, please let this be a reason for you to start. Go to holymcknight.com and scroll down and click chapter one and start reading. She made um, a warlock that doesn't know how to do magic. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Worse? <laughs> Worse! Holly. So, hold up. The story went! How does it get worse than being scared of or not knowing how to do magic? <laughs> as a warlock? How? I did. JD's gonna burst into tears. Look what you did to the poor man. <laughs> I thought you wanted to keep this character. <laughs> you broke our DM. <laughs> He's gonna kill <laughs> Rocks fall, everybody dies. I'm sorry, uh, i No, 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 it's it's fine. There's no imminent danger <laughs> right now. Right now? Oh, but, rock so... <laughs> Holly, it's our first fight. What did you do? 
I wrote a really good story. But you did story think about cool. the fact you were a warlock. No, I did. <laughs> oh god, I'm so scared. Bruh. You had to have done something to make him look so <laughs> exasperated. Good. <laughs> I... I promise, just hey, if you're not caught up, Jackie, have you read chapter two? Mm -mm. I didn't know it was out. Oh, read chapter two. Chapter two's out. Chapter three will be out soon. Fuck yeah, it. Okay, chapter two so explain that's why the end of like Stig's this. turn. Wait, okay, chapter uh, four, I right? zoned out for like five minutes there. Did I miss something? Or was No, that she's not sharing. She's not sharing. <laughs> Yes, okay. Yeah, so nobody either, knows what's going JD's on. JD's face has no. been amazing. <laughs> well, JD no. knows what's going on, and he seems upset. Yeah. I just want to make sure I didn't miss something because I no, you out didn't. For about you, five minutes. You, you didn't miss anything. Um, <clears throat> my, cats, my my cats, my pants have little cats on them that are flipping you. <laughs> Your cat's also flipping you. Let, let, oh, let me see. Let me see how I let me see how I can put this. Um. No, I, uh, I'll uh, I'll just hold my, I'll just hold anything and just go on to the honey badger that's behind Sita is going to attack her. Are they honey badgers? And... Now? No, 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 no. <laughs> they've just been calling them honey badgers, and I can't stop. And it's so rocks. it's going to attack, <laughs> and it is going to hit. Oh, I'm gonna die. And it is going. <laughs> To bite on, uh, it's gonna jump up and bite on to the top of her shoulder there, and just dig its teeth in under her armor a little bit for three damage. Not three damage. Yeah. Three whole damage. Three whole damage. Uh, but now it is uh, Cedar's turn. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> you know what's coming. Oh, oh, shit. Smack this boy in front of me. Oh fuck or not, damn. Um, that's um okay, cool. It's not a nat one. Good. <laughs> so yeah, um it, you go to strike at it and it rears back and your fist just kinda glances off of the hard back. Uh. And, So I I fucked up. Um, in that case, uh, it will that's gonna be it. Yep. All right, Valis, on to you, Steven. Okay. Um. Hmm. So basically, one's almost dying in front of me. Uh, what are the conditions for flanking? Um, you, I will give you flanking on this one. Or uh, I mean, for me getting flanked. Um, this is the one causing flanking on you. Hmm. Hmm. Has that one? Uh, does that one look injured at all? Uh, yes. Um, it is not too too injured but it, it does have a little dent uh, where uh sig's arrow uh damaged this back okay i can either try and take out the really weak one or give my chance to survive the next two attacks hmm So quiet. Oh, Steven's sorry, uh, just... debating on which uh, one to attack. Thanks, so I'm sorry, guessing we probably won't have a long rest before we go to auto. Oh, uh, screw it. Okay, I, I'm, I'm just going to try and finish off the really wounded one. Okay, no. That is going to be All right, this so one. I'm going to pull my maul out. All right. And so my armor class is now too lower because I don't have a shield. Alright. 
So you're and... dual wielding now? Uh, it's no, a two-handed I'm weapon. Two-handed weapon. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, so roll to hit. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, that, uh, it, uh, as you swing down on it, um, it, uh, it shifts its body and the maw just glances off its back shoulders. Stakes are made. All right. And my turn. All right. Uh, the one in front of you, the one you just tried to hit, is going to, uh, Snap at ya. And what is... Yeah. And it's gonna snap again at the point... Uh, but it makes the mistake of going for the exact same spot as before. Uh, to where it obviously tells its attack and you're able to uh, use the, the back end of your maw to shift it out of the way and take uh, and glance it off. Phew. All right. Next is going to be the one behind you. And it is going to snap at you. Does Buddy help me out? Let me hear the magic uh, words, Daxton. Well, he already used his reaction to... Well, no, that was at the top. The yeah. top of the top of the turn was it started with uh, it already swapped Jackie over? again. Yeah, it started, yeah, Jackie was top of the turn. Thought so, and it's going to also snap uh, at the same thing, but again, it uh, it sees your really injured leg and just can't resist. Goes for it again. Uh, Obviously telling its attack, and with the help of Buddy Yipping, you're able to uh, deflect it off of you. <laughs> Dumb creature. And next we have Maeve. Cat. Okay, so I do have a question. I uh, probably have an answer. Do these things have intelligence? Uh, bestial intelligence. No, no, nothing. So like, very low. <laughs> not like a four or above. Pretty sure no. No. <laughs> okay. No. Cool. Um. So what's going on? Which one? Which of? Fuck. Which of? Like these three. Um, so this one is like in almost in a heap. It's barely hanging on. Mm -hmm. uh, this one hasn't. The one next to it hasn't been touched, and this one uh, just has a little, a uh, little dent and little scratches on the back. Okay. Um. Then I'm going to attack the one that hasn't been touched. Okay. Uh, with vicious mockery. Um, okay. It's got to succeed a wisdom saving throw, or it takes 1d4 psychic damage. And it has disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes before the end of its turn. All right. And what is the DC? 13. Um, bloop, bloop. And <laughs> that's a no. Uh, so, uh, roll for damage. <laughs> what the fuck did that even do? Uh, it's a cantrip. It is a cantrip. Um, so, you I'm see, trying. you see this thing, uh, recoil and shake its head back as, uh, it takes, uh, it takes the one psychic damage. Eh. Eh. Ow, my brain. All right. Um, is that the end of your turn? Yeah. 
All right, so now we go back to the one that Sita's been punching. It is going to slash at her. And... Pop, pop. Pop, pop. And it is going to again try and sna it, uh, try to jump at her face before now it tries to dash forward and latch onto her ankles, but uh, it uh, she's able to sidestep it and watch his head just dig into the dirt for a second. Hog. All right, Jarek, Jackson, it my go. It your go. All right. Uh, I will move over here just because I feel like moving over here, really. I haven't moved this whole time. <laughs> uh, and this one's at death's door, right? Yes. All right, I'm going to ignore that one and shoot at this one. I'm going to throw my javelin. Gotcha. Oh, yeet. God damn it. <laughs> That's a twelve hit. <laughs> uh, as uh, no, the javelin sails through the air, and uh, the badger is able to do a flex just at the time, right, and uh, make the thing hit on one of its hardest plates of armor and just bounce off harmlessly. I just bring it back. Damn it. <laughs> uh, and right. Buddy's gonna bite that one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's Go flanking, forward. so it does get advantage. So it's fourteen hit. <laughs> uh, it does. Oh, hey. Uh, Go for damage. Yeah, D eight. <laughs> Uh, five force damage. <laughs> gotcha. So it's able to... Dark can't to... hit worth a shit, but Buddy's kicking ass. So <laughs> the uh, the badger lands there, right? Uh, like, Buddy's kind of, like, keeping it at bay, giving it disadvantage, keeping it off of phallus, and then as it settles in, it latches on and bites onto the back leg of it and just breaks its back leg. All right. Next we have... Uh, we are waiting for Holly, because it is Sig's turn. Uh, I can't believe her. I really can't believe her, guys. This is... <laughs> this is going to be... This is going to be an ordeal no. with her. <laughs> Can we just get a hint as to what it is? Didn't we all go over, like, our backstories and everything with you, and you greenlit it? Yeah, she added this one after. Oh. <gasps> Bruh. I was about to say, because you greenlit these. So I did. You, dude. I, I did not greenlit this. <laughs> Green light. I, I mean, if she wanted to, um, I would have, but... She, uh, I'm going to have to have a talk with her for, uh, <laughs> what this is going to, going to mean for Sig. We gonna have words. We gonna have a little discussion. But... Is there a reason there's a blue arrow drawn up at the top of the map? That is towards the road. Oh, I wasn't paying attention during that. Oh, she. I back. didn't say it. I didn't say it. I just. Uh, I'm I just sorry. Did it. <laughs> you up, Sid? Your turn, Holly. I told you guys today was a special day that would require me to be. We know. Let's see. I love you guys yeah. so much, though. Okay. All right. It's my turn. Six turn. Yeah. All right. Six turn. Somebody's hurt, and Sig saw it. Holly didn't, but Sig saw it. Who's the most hurt? Uh, the most hurt is still the one on, uh, Death's Door. Right, <clears throat> right there. She aiming at that motherfucker again. Okay, roll for, roll the hit. She doesn't hit. What'd she roll? Yep. 
What'd she roll? roll? A natural one. A natural <laughs> one. Ah. Uh, roll she... me another d20. I just want you all to know that Sig is really rusty and she hasn't fought in a while. Oh, don't worry. I haven't hit shit. Buddy's killed What'd like two. I can't hit. What'd you roll? <laughs> How did you, you get a two? worse roll? I didn't right. get a worse roll You're than a nat one. I got a nat Dang. two. It Ballas. was double before. Steven. Just... Steven. Oh, no. Give me a... Give me oh! a... <laughs> Steven, <laughs> no! Uh, 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 you have to right? beat a two. A fire. Uh, what you have save? to beat a two. Dexterity uh, save. Oh, I'm dexterity so save. Okay. I'm sorry. Easy. No sound. Kiwi can't hear you. Oh, is Kiwi here? Me? All right. So uh, the arrow <laughs> pulls toward, like, uh, as Sig fires the arrow, uh, she actually sneezes and pulls her shot um, and uh, launches it. It actually veers towards Valis instead of the badger. But luckily, Valis is able to duck underneath and it sails over everyone's head safely. About to hellish rebuke a motherfucker over here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, Sig, Dude, actually. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm thankful so bad. <laughs> sorry. Uh, so now we're on to the one uh, behind uh, Sita here. So it is going to, so, uh, going to grab at you. All right, and it is going to bite onto you. The hey, last person who did that had to get escorted out of the bar. <laughs> that is true. Uh, so uh, it again it uh, jumps. Uh, this one it jumps back up, but this time it, it finds purchase again and just bites on to uh, the the top of her shoulder there for six damage. <laughs> All right, and Sita, Jackie. What game? Okay, so we talked about the Rock Badgers yesterday. <laughs> Can I get a like a rerun of what damage they're strong against? Uh, made of rock. Yeah, so they're made of rock. Uh, so they are uh, res they are resistant against piercing and immune to slashing. And what does resistant mean? Is it like half damage? Half, half damage. Okay. They're also resistant to fire. Oh. I guess I'm gonna punch it again! I didn't realize that, but whatever. <laughs> That's my bad. <laughs> Produce flame really wouldn't have done anything. Mm. Alright. Even I'm, it I'm just punching the same rock again. Well, luck luckily... This last punch, you find just the right purchase. You're hitting the same punch every time, and finally this last punch feels like it cracks underneath it, and it uh, just breaks down and falls limp in front of you. Oh, hell yeah. All right, with you that You finally note, punched the wall enough that it broke. Yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> Uh, I don't have a healing potion. Never mind. I'm just gonna wait. Wait. Uh, nope. I'm just gonna sit here and cry. Okie doke. Next, we got Valis. Steven. Right. Um. I guess I'll just try and finish off the really weak one again. Okay. Swing at it with my maul. That's, uh, again, this thing is just, it's squirming for its life. And as you bring it down, it just twitches just far enough out of the way for it to glance off the back of it. Yep. All right. That's my turn. All right. Um, and actually, uh, let me see. Okay. 
cat. I love. Okay. Uh, okay. So this one is going to uh, again try and sl- get at you. Try and sl- get at you. And it is going to land a what? Uh, no, me don't be. Uh, it is going to nip at you again, but uh, in dodging your attack, it put itself on the wrong thing, and it just tries to latch out and just snaps in in air in front of you. Excellent. Um, and then next is going to be the one behind you, and it is actually going to turn. And since uh, Buddy is latched onto his leg, it's going to attack Buddy now. Uh, he doesn't get... Well, I mean, he's flanked, but other than that, Buddy can't give him disadvantage. Um, so that's up to you. And so uh, as, it, as it tries to turn towards Buddy... Uh, its broken leg gets in its way and just kind of flops over on its side. And if you want, I'll give Buddy an attack of opportunity. Uh, sure. Yeah, it'll attack. There we go. Buddy All can right, hit. Roll for damage. <laughs> uh, eight. Nope, seven. I can count. Seven. Uh, in that case, uh. As in retribution, it, uh, it as it said, it flipped over on its back, and Buddy just latches onto the soft part of the underside of its throat, and its force damage again just crunches its neck, and it falls limp and dead. Dang, Buddy's taking out two. Buddy's good. <laughs> there we go. All right. Are they weak to force damage, or he's just got a lot of hits in? No, he's just got a lot of hits in. These guys don't have a lot of health. You guys just don't <laughs> haven't been hitting. Force damage I, is apparently I the way to go. Holly personally take offense to that. Thank <laughs> you. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't hit a single. <laughs> Buddy has hit like the one that every one. I've hit every time. There's, there's, there's I, the one that rolled to almost hit her friend. <laughs> but oh. she didn't even hit me. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I decided not to murder Steven. Oh man. Anyway, uh Maeve. That, Maeve. It's Cat. my turn? What's up? Yep. You're oh, up. Shit. Oh shit. Um I gotta think. Uh how much health does Valus have? Uh fifteen. How much health does Sira have? Ten. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah. Um, then we're going to cast Healing Word on Sira at a first level. Go for so... it. Five health. Booyah. Ah. And that's all I'm going to do. Just going to heal the bitch and go. Wow. I have a kid. Yeah. I'll see this cat. I love and... I what to ask on that side. Oh. <laughs> All right, so Jarrett Jackson, you up? Me. Uh, first thing's gonna happen. Yeah, got plenty of room. He's gonna run up. Buddy's gonna run over here to give a flanking to Valus, and then uh, yeet the second time. This time, hopefully, with fifty percent more yeet. There we fucking it go. Does. <laughs> So, uh, plus six to attack, and this is the first attack I've hit. Uh, it's this one, by the way. Uh, so, this one you said? Yeah, six piercing damage. Six piercing damage. Well, uh, this one, the javelin finally uh, finds purchase and just sinks in right under the shoulder blade of one of the uh, uh, crack in its armor. It sinks in deep, and you just hear this crunch underneath it as the thing falls over dead. And as soon as it goes in, I just summon it right back. <laughs> Kathunk. Kathunk. Uh, and then Buddy's going to attack that one because, oh, well, the other one's dead. 
I'm gonna say that hits. And how do you want to? How do you want to do it? Uh, well, Betty's just gonna grab onto the back of the neck and just snap. All right, snap it goes indeed, and that one falls limp at Buddy's feet. Um, so he's that panting one's dead. silently because he doesn't actually make noise besides like creaking of metal but it looks like he's panting happily all right <laughs> so that one's done that one's done and sing holly oh uh then yes he did already move this turn remember oh you know what you're right never mind thank you that'll be it sorry for sick being dumb you're good. Sorry, Sig apologizes to the party. <laughs> Not out loud yet. Anyway, Sig's gonna take a shot at this motherfucker. Take a shot. Please don't miss. I'm really af <laughs> At this point, Holly is afraid to- Ah, uh, Sig is also afraid to. Sig's kind of, kind of hesitant at this point. You know, she's starting to feel kind of insecure in her own. Um, like, Maybe I should- should you yeah, she should. Metal. However, <laughs> um, she she doesn't feel like she has another choice, so she rolls a natural one again. God damn! Uh, oh no! What Those dice are loaded dice? in the wrong direction. This is so <laughs> fucking using the computer yeah, yeah. instead of rolling. The weighted <laughs> dice are supposed to give you better rolls, not worse. <laughs> So she pulls back and her bowstring snaps. That's not her fault. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right, mm -hmm. she's done. She's out of the fight. I That's it. She doesn't, that. she, she's like, at this point, she's just fucking happy. She's like, good, I can't fucking hit any of my friends anymore. Jesus Christ. I, I can fix that when we're done. And okay, Please yeah, don't. Stop. <laughs> All right. So the last, uh, the last badger that's left is still very focused. One track mind on C right here. It's because I have a fat ass, isn't it? Uh, it's, it's, the, it's, it's the it's it's the tail. The two dimensional beings. And it's going to uh, land a bite. Sig. Is... That does two damage. It it uh, uh, just grants and it's able to. Uh, she you uh, she tries to uh, block it from keeping up on her with her hand, but it latches on and bites her arm for two damage. Can these fuckers stop biting? Sig Sig has this look on her face like, oh my god. Maybe if you shot it. I'm all right. Uh, Sig's see looking that. I did what? frustrated Jackie. as fuck. <laughs> it's because she's tired, by the way. JD. You said maybe and not Maeve. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Maybe? <laughs> maybe. Alright. I'm gonna punch this one. Amazing! Shut up. <laughs> All right. All of you. Stop that shit! Get him out of here! Do not quote me right. in any D&D campaign. <laughs> no! You can- <laughs> Anyway, I just well, punch this one. She punches this one, and this was actually- a very sickly badger, and as she punches it, it like it's it hasn't been eating enough uh, like minerals and stuff, so it's uh, it's rock just kind of caves in and it falls over dead in front of her. Needs more vi fiber. So boom, the badgers are dead. First combat done. The badgers are dead. <laughs> oh, the badgers are because... dead. <laughs> <laughs> Fists of Fury. Anyways, um, help! <laughs> uh, I can't feel my shoulder. Sig I'm just, just gonna... has this look of utter defeat and shame, like I couldn't help my friends. Like, I'm oh just my gonna kind of collect all the rock badgers in a pile and start, yeah, you know, getting whatever meat I can off of them. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, Probably not much. Uh, made a rock. Go over this. It's made out of rock. <laughs> I mean, if you want, uh, not eating go ahead. for dinner. Nah, um, you don't have to. More for me. 
Give me a uh, nature nature check. I gave you a pillow. <laughs> Cat. Can Sig ro run <gasps> over Lookie. and help Lookie. him? Sig Sig's like hesitates and she's like stunned for a second. Like I can't believe I just didn't help with anything at all. <laughs> and then Sig's like, uh... "Fuck it, I'm gonna go help Jarek right now." So Sig runs over to try and help him as well. Well, uh, it, it rolled with advantage there. I'll let uh, the assistants give him the advantage so he gets the 20 instead of the 14. Uh, oh. That'll work. Uh, so with that, uh, you are able, between the six badgers, you can add two more rations. Um, okay. And if you want, you uh, can get um, salvage uh, three uh, rock badger pelts. Uh, they weigh they weigh about ten pounds each. Where uh, are and... Valus and Sierra at with health? I have fifteen. Thirteen. Do we heal from um resting? Uh, if, yes. Uh, but yes. We'd have to take you... a, a long rest. Okay, right. I can heal for 18 total HP. Um, you can... Oh yeah, Paladin. So, if we don't want to rest again, I can use that. I just won't be able to do any healing if we have to fight again. But Well, it's early morning. It ain't much to do. Uh, um, I would I'd rather give... get on the road, but you guys are beat. If so, you guys want, you know, I will... Uh... Rock badgers. <laughs> is there okay so do we still have the horses yes is there any way i could sleep on my horse <laughs> i was about to say yeah if you want uh to tether if valis and Zeta want to tether their horses to one of the others and have them leading their horse as they're going they can i can let them rest on while they're traveling well that sounds good um, sounds sounds Gucci to me. Well, Sig, you want me to fix that bow of yours? That would be great. Thank you, Jarek. All right, I'm gonna cast mending on her uh, bow. Oh, I know what that is. Holly knows what that is. I read cool. about it. I read a. Shut up, uh, Jackie. I read a book. <laughs> I was reading about it for for my book because I do research. <laughs> and that's why I know what that is. JD, you're just sitting there with this big ass fucking smirk on your face. Well, I get it. It's basic as shit. But I'm learning, okay? Stop judging me. I'm not judging you on that. I'm judging you on the other things, still. Oh, yeah, that's fair. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be <laughs> judging you on. It's a broken bowstring. I'm assuming I could fix that. Uh, he's judging me on armor. something unrelated. And, and it's fair. I did minimal research on that before I wrote it. I just wrote it. <laughs> You're so kind. You're like the greatest D DM ever. I'm I really, I I really want to know DM. what you did to fuck up this badly. I will yeah, tell you that it warrants me buying JD at least a six pack of beer, if not more. <laughs> Jesus Holly. Christ, Holly. <laughs> what did you do? Am I correct in my estimate of alcohol? I mean, you don't need to buy me anything. I, you don't. I, it's not me that you're fucking over, Sig. <laughs> you owe Sig a six pack of beer. That's what you owe. <laughs> she doesn't want a fucking six pack of beer, dude. She doesn't want anything. <laughs> She's edgy, remember? But yeah, you're right. I I, I thought okay. Uh, all right, oh, you're then. Right. Uh, edgy people would want. Never mind. Edgy people want drinks. That would be the only payment an edgy person would want. You're right. So, theoretically, right now, at this particular moment in life, if Sig could have as much alcohol as she could, as she would want, she would probably want to be drunk for about a month. Sound about right? What did you do? Yeah. What did you do? I don't know that enchantment yet. You're going to have to wait. <laughs> Holy, you had to go <laughs> fucked up really, really bad for this stuff to be happening. I mean, it's a it Hammer. is a homebrew fuck up. I will say this: it's a homebrew <laughs> fuck up that I that I should that not be possible. <laughs> Thank you for being so patient with me. Because I not can't. That it's not possible. It's I I whenever I was explaining 
the caveats of Warlock to you. That's when I was bringing that up. And then you made this decision <laughs> after that. Um, it works really well from like a narrative perspective of the story. So I promise you that it will be worth it when you read the full story. All right. My headcanon is she's got like wild magic as a warlock. So no, <laughs> it's not that bad. It's about I'll wait to be. For the unicorn to show up. <laughs> oh, well. However you deal with it from here, I'm down. Like I will roll with these punches. I only need the story to be as such up until this point. At from here on mm -hmm. out, I don't. I mean, I care, but like it doesn't matter. I'll roll with it. So mm -hmm. will Adri's. Okay. So will Adri's person. I told you I found a person for Adri, right? No, you didn't. You actually found someone? Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Um, well, it is, it is 11.30. Do you guys want to just wrap it up there like you guys get up camp and get, uh, get on the road then? Yep. I'm done with that. Up up this... morning, so. Yeah, I'm done. That was a pretty good time to wrap it up. Guess who doesn't have work in the morning? Me. And me. <laughs> I took this entire week off of work. I all, I get, all I have to do right now is stare at my dog. You can't see because I it's took like this entire shit. year off of work. JD. Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Excuse me. Nice. Thank you. Oh, man. JD, I love you. But <laughs> back at you. I'm going to get Drizzly just for you. <laughs> oh, but uh, yeah, that we'll go sounded... ahead and wrap up. Sorry, go ahead. It sounded nastier, but I got I got the I got the actual reference. I didn't take Thank it to you. the that's what she said part. It uh but <laughs> uh, but so yeah, we wrap up you guys uh uh Jarek uh, and Sig uh tear down uh the badgers, you guys get your camp packed up. Uh Valis and Sita tether their horses along and the party starts uh, moving on down the main road. Um, doo -doo -doo. Uh, uh, just for convenience sake, uh, full day of travel. This is this is the main kingdom road, well patrolled, guard routes, and all of that. Uh, so you guys can basically make a full day's worth of travel uninterrupted. Um, and we can just move along to Boom. And we'll pick up there from partially onto the road on our next session. Oh, uh, hey. I'm down. <laughs> hey. Well, Buddy gets MVP for that one. Oh, absolutely. Honestly, yeah. Free? <laughs> like... Yeah. Yeah. You Same. and him together took out like over half. I, I got one hit and it killed it. Like, <laughs> like, like those. Like most of them only had like five or six health points. <laughs> Sig oh, gets if, W. One of them, like Sig, was awful. I so was, uh, it's just the two that the two that you guys were focusing on were the beefiest boys of the bunch, <laughs> and they were the only ones that rolled high for their health. I just had. Well, it all worked out. But he's a coon dog. Shit luck. Just took care of it. <laughs> I just had shit, mm. shit rolls. God. Um, and <laughs> limited tools for some reason. Which. Oh man. I promise to address. Eventually. Tomorrow. Next week. There tomorrow. Our next week. I think I it should have really just been addressed last week but I'm an idiot that's on me not even sig but you know we'll I can write it into sig can make it I can make it so that it's not just a stupid idiot mistake and rather a deliberate okay I'm gonna stop talking <laughs> I love you guys. The, all honestly, of you. You're honestly, all so patient with me. <laughs> honestly, Holly, just just for a little notice, m making it on purpose will make it worse. Oof. Ooh. Ooh. What? Okay.
Okay. Noted. Oh, I'm sorry! I'll fix it! I promise! I don't even know what I'm supposed to be upset about. Uh, you yeah, will. You will. Upset. Don't worry, you will know. You'll know soon. You won't have to wait for the whole book to come out. You'll probably know just through the campaign. <laughs> hey there! Hope you liked that video. And if you did, uh, be sure to check out the full playlist right here. Or you can subscribe right here. Or do both. Both sounds good. Both is good. Alright, thanks guys.